y'all. I love water. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Stila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation. This is what it looks like. And uh, what caught my eye in the first place and made me want to try it is the packaging. It is so beautiful. It is a frosted looking kind of appearance to the bottle that fades into gold. So I guess gold fades into the foundation. But um, they had them all sunny out, and I was like, oh, that is so pretty. So I automatically just drew to it. And when I swatched it on my skin, I was like, this feels amazing. It felt just so smooth and hydrating and lightweight. I had to try it. Um, so as far as the packaging goes, it's awesome. It is a plastic bottle, but it's very sturdy feeling. So you can travel well with this. It will travel amazing. Um, so basically with this, you have to shake it up very well since it does have that serum inside of it. Um, it does not have a pump. It does not pour out. I will show you guys. It's so neat. Keep your eye on the top here. So basically when you're opening it, the foundation is going inside of this little tube. That's how you get it out. Let me put some on the back of my hand for y'all so you can see. Well, that was a fail. Um, it's not a very watery foundation, which you would maybe think, oh, it's going to be watery because it says serum. It's really not. It's pretty thick. It feels amazing going on the skin. It is a medium to full coverage buildable foundation, and that's what it says on the bottle, and that is 100% what it is. It says to go in with the number 33 blush which I do not own or your fingertips which I just absolutely will not do I feel like it just adds bacteria and extra oil if you go in with your fingertips so I wouldn't do that I did use a foundation brush to apply it I tried with a beauty blender and that did not go over so well so um, what I do is I go in with my foundation brush to initially apply the foundation and anywhere that I would like more fuller coverage, I will go in with my beauty blender and, um, you know, just hardly but gently tap in where I would like that added coverage. Um, so a downside to this is it only comes in 10 shades. And I could not find it on the foundation matrix. So if you don't know what the foundation matrix is, you need to know. And I will link it below. Basically, you put in whatever color you're wearing that fits best or whatever your current foundation is. And it matches, I think I got 45 matches. You know, when I used the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Foundation, I got 45 pages of matches. Everything from Chanel and Giorgio Armani, Marc Jacobs all the way down to Maybelline and Wet n Wild. So, I mean, any foundation pretty much that you can think of is on there besides this one. This one I feel is not talked about as much and I feel like it really should be because it's amazing. I have worn it for about a week now and I have noticed a change in my skin. My skin seems to be more radiant and it, it seems like it's smoother. When you put this on your skin and like you swatch it for the first time, I mean, it just feels like velvet. It's amazing. I did try it without a primer and with a primer, and I get so nervous about wearing things without a primer, so I didn't wear it very long that day. It didn't really seem to change anything about the application of the foundation, so the wearability, I couldn't tell you if it's different, because like I said, I only wore it for a few hours without the primer on my face. I will give you all a helpful hint though. Absolutely do not, do not use a Fix Plus spray to blend your concealer if you wear this foundation. Because it will take all of your foundation off because oil and water kind of don't mix well. This does have water in it. Um, let me see what exactly. Um, it does have ionized water and hydrolon hydrolonic acid, I'm so sorry, um, but it really did come off with my Fix Plus whenever I tried to um, kind of buff out my 
my concealed under eye, which I don't use concealer every day, just when I feel like I need to use it. The wearability on the foundation is really good. I've worn it for 10 hours max, and I did not have to touch it up at all. And I think one thing that helps with that is the fact that I put eyeshadow primer on my nose, which is where most people get their makeup slops off. So I would definitely go in with an eyeshadow primer and then regular primer on the rest of the face, and it will stay on a, a good, solid 10 hours, for me at least. I recommend this for any skin type. I recommend it for oily, I recommend it for dry combination, because as you can see, it doesn't really look wet on my skin. It just gives it kind of like a little glow. Um, it dries down really good. It works well with my cream concealer, with my, I'm sorry, my cream contours, my cream concealers, as well as my powders. So it's just overall a great foundation. And I did use a Fix Plus spray to set it. Um, just don't, obviously don't pat your concealer with it because it kind of removes all of your foundation. But definitely recommended foundation matrix linked below. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell so you know when I upload new videos, and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and enjoy your Memorial Day weekend, but remember what it's really, really for. It's not for being off work, it's for honoring our heroes, so thanks to anybody who serves in the military or who has served. I hope y'all have a great day with your family and all the others that are fallen, you're remembered and appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys later.